Ya, Alhamdulillah uh, kami tahun ini uh, terundang kembali di acara BCA Award, Top 10 Awards ya. Dan tahun lalu kita sempat vakum uh, ya karena masa pandemi kami kebetulan uh, sering dan bisa bilang berturut-turut hadir di BCA Award tiap tahunnya dan mudah-mudahan kami bisa mempertahankan prestasi kami terus ke depannya. Terima kasih BCI. Pak Alim sendiri bagaimana nih kesan-pesannya acara ini? Iya, jadi uh, terima kasih juga kepada BCI Asia yang telah memberikan award ya kepada Sinar Masland. Nah, terkait dengan acara ini, luar biasa sih. Jadi ini event offline pertama sejak tahun lalu yang saya hadiri. Dan saya lihat uh, dengan kondisi uh, protokol kesehatan yang ketat, penyelenggaran yang sangat uh, profesional, ini bisa menumbuhkan kembali kepercayaan diri kita ya untuk mengadakan event-event seperti ini lagi ya tapi tentu saja harus mengikuti protokol kesehatan yang ketat dan peraturan yang ditetapkan lah oleh pemerintah kira-kira gitu uh, Terima kasih juga untuk BCI Asia yang sudah uh, mempercayakan kami sebagai salah satu kitek di Indonesia ya, gitu loh. Uh, semoga BCI uh, semakin maju terus banyak pembuka apa namanya semacam uh, inspirasi buat arsitek-arsitek muda berikutnya, uh, arsitek Indonesia yang lebih maju kita. Gitu. atas nama uh, manajemen PT Arkonin jadi Alhamdulillah ini satu kehormatan dan juga kepercayaan saya rasa uh, penyelenggaraannya juga menurut saya uh, dari tahun ke tahun sangat baik menjadi uh, acuan terutama para klien dan calon klien uh, melihat uh, siapa saja uh, 10 terbaik ini gitu uh, ada baiknya mungkin juga award diberikan pada mereka yang terlibat dalam pembangunan infrastruktur ini juga bisa menjadi apa bagian perluasan apresiasi bisa terhadap pembangunan di bidang jasa konstruksi
to BCI Asia Award 2020-2021. I am Rara. And I am Aditya, your host for today. Today is the day where we come together to celebrate and commend those amongst you who with their singular vision and exceptional commitment are pushing the boundaries of architecture in Indonesia and helping to shape the country's physical landscape into what it is today. We will play a video from Dr. Matthias Krups, chairman and founder of BCI Media Group for the opening address. Dear friends and colleagues, esteemed guests, I would like to extend my warmest welcome to you as we celebrate BC Asia's dual top 10 awards 2020 and 2021. The last year and a half have been unique and unprecedented in ways that no one had anticipated. No one saw the pandemic coming and no one could have guessed what impact it would have to humanity in general and to each of us in our industry, in our day-to-day -day lives. In the last 15 months, we had to learn to socially distance, and it was not fun. Humans need touch to form close relations, to improve their chances of survival. Homo sapiens evolved to live in groups. Science has long known that humans need to interact with each other. Social contact depresses levels of cortisol, a hormone produced in response to stress. A lack of contact is known to sometimes fuel aggression and is often linked to loneliness, stress, and to mood and anxiety disorders. COVID-19 supercharged all these effects. It would have surprised no one if these effects would have thrown most companies and industries into turmoil. Happily, that was not the case both for our industry and for my company, BCI. At BCI, when the reality of COVID hit us like a ton of bricks, we were ready to brace ourselves for the worst. We moved close to 700 staff into home office mode and learned to operate our business remotely. It's with real pride that I can say that our teams responded fabulously. They did not miss a beat. We continue to do what our clients in the building industry expected us to do. Shine a light on what's happening in the market and be that beacon that guides the industry to opportunities even when the circumstances are dire. Of course, it was extremely disappointing that we weren't able to hold our awards events and several of our Equinox exhibitions last year. But it defines of the sense of crisis that engulfed everyone last year, we were able to launch three new products. Archify, a new product platform, Analytics, a new lead manager tool, and our new global energy and mining service, the GEM Report. Looking beyond BCI, it was truly inspiring to witness how resilient the construction sector in Southeast Asia proved to be, and how well the industry responded to the series of lockdowns and stop starts of economic activity. Of course, there were winners and losers, and our data reflects that very plausibly. I would like to take a few moments to share with you some of the key insights into how different sectors of our market responded to the pandemic. The statistics I want to share with you look at projects across the ASEAN region during three months. March 2019, before the pandemic, March 2020, right at the beginning of the pandemic, and March 2021, during what we've now come to call the new COVID normal. Firstly, it is fair to say that the region's construction market has come out at the other end of COVID with renewed optimism and energy. The US dollar value of projects reported by BCI in their pre-tender stage dropped from 89 billion in March 2019 to 76 billion in March 2020, but then recovered strongly 
to 124 billion in March 2021. This remarkable recovery of the volume of early stage project development is even more pronounced in the residential sector. Pretender projects in this sector valued 36 billion in March 2019, dropping down slightly to 35 billion in March 2020, but then doubling, reaching 75 billion in March 2021. It is plausible to suspect that all those unspent consumer dollars would have been, that would have been spent overseas in travel found their way into investments in new homes and apartments. In contrast, the change of consumer habits and the trend to remote work had significant dampening effect on other sectors. The volume of the region's early stage office projects dropped from 7 billion in March 2019 to 4 billion in March 2020 and then proceeded to drop even further to 3 billion in 2021 in response to the new normal. Similarly, the retail sector has taken a beating as consumers flocked to online buying as a result of lockdowns and the need to socially distance. The volume of pre-tender retail projects dropped from 2.5 billion in March 2019 to 1 billion in March 2020, only to remain there in March 2021. Finally, and not surprisingly, the pandemic had an energizing effect on hospital and health projects that were already in the development pipeline. While there was limited movement in the pre-tender front, the value of both tender and construction stage projects increased in March 2020 over March 2019. This trend continued during the waning of COVID with the volume of late stage health projects increasing further in March 2021. If this data tells us anything, it is that it is important to keep a close eye on the market. Where are the opportunities? Where are the risks? And what is the data telling us about the situation tomorrow, the next day, the next year and beyond? This is where BCI has its calling and this is where we will not falter in playing our role as the market's salient authority for construction intelligence. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who have worked closely with us during the pandemic from the bottom of my heart. I would also like to thank my fabulous teams in Hong Kong, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand and Vietnam for staying the course and working incredibly hard with us to navigate the challenges of multiple lockdowns and the difficulties of working from home or socially distant. Let's always remember that COVID was and is the great equalizer. We're all in this together. Let us appreciate the good fortune that our industry is an essential provider to the overall economy. And turning to my colleagues, let us appreciate that BCI is an essential provider to the building industry and that we have shown we can master the task of working and providing our essential service, pandemic or not. Thank you again for gracing us with your presence today, be it COVID safe, in person or virtually. It means the world to us to be partners with you. Thank you. Today, we are honored to have Mr. Iparman Usman. We would like to invite Mr. Iparman on stage to say a few words. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. It's a honorary honor for us, GBCI, and I stand here on behalf of Mr. Iwan Perijanto, our chairperson, cannot come in this morning. And let me speak in Bahasa Indonesia. Suatu kehormatan yang sangat besar bagi kami, GBCI, Green Building Council Indonesia, yang selalu mendapat kehormatan untuk memberikan patah dua patah kata dalam kesempatan yang sangat baik ini. Dalam masa pandemi ini, Green Building Council 
selalu dan tetap konsisten dengan apa yang menjadi uh, rating tools. Ada beberapa hal yang patut juga kami sampaikan pada kesempatan yang sangat baik ini. Satu gerakan yang pada awalnya merupakan suatu gerakan yang tercipta dari komitmen-komitmen internasional, terutama COP 21 Paris. Kami secara konsisten juga mendampingi setiap gerakan seperti yang sekarang dilaksanakan oleh BCI. Pada beberapa kesempatan, saat ini kami selalu menghimbau untuk kita semua mulai bergerak ke arah itu. Fase sampai tahun 2030, kita dituntut untuk konsisten dengan target-target yang akan tercapai. Salah satunya adalah tentang pembatasan karbon. Kami menghimbau juga untuk seluruh industri bangunan, untuk lebih dulu selangkah memulai hal ini, kami mengucapkan selamat, mendukung penuh gerakan dari ICI Asia yang selalu konsisten mengadakan acara ini dari tahun ke tahun. Sekali lagi, terima kasih kami selalu diundang untuk memberikan uh, pesan dan kesan kami uh, terhadap acara ini. Demikian, terima kasih. Mohon maaf. Uh, Wabillahi taufik wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Mr. Iparman. Mohon tetap berada di atas panggung, Pak Iparman. Thank you Mr. Iparman, thank you Mr. Peter. Gentlemen, please enjoy the lunch and music performance from West Project. Kami merasa uh, terhormat, kami merasa bangga untuk uh, diakui sebagai top 10 developer di Indonesia. Ini memacu kami untuk terus uh, berkarya menjadi developer yang sustain, terus memberikan yang terbaik bagi uh, masyarakat Indonesia. Terima kasih.
Even though it's a uh, first time for me, personally, but Jotun, uh, for Jotun, it's the third time that we participate in the BCI events. So obviously, since we are here the third time, it means uh, we are very happy <laughs> with the BCI events. And we are happy to be able to network with all the players of the construction industry in an event like this. So I would like to thank BCI once again for that. Uh, of course, we hope that once the pandemic is over, uh, we will be able to have even bigger event uh, without uh, all these uh, restrictions and we are able to mingle and meet more people in an event like this. I am sure BCI will, uh, will think of this once the pandemic is over. So thank you very much and I want to wish all the best to BCI and all the participants in this uh, wonderful event. Thank you. Before we continue to present the Future Act Green Leadership Award 2020 and Future Act Prize 2020, let's watch a short presentation on the cycles competitions. Myself, Anuj Jain, Krishna Duplessis, and Herbert Dreisaitl. This year's entries were deeply provocative, they challenged our assumptions, and they showed us how the design community in Asia becomes a part of the solution. Thank you to everyone who submitted an entry. Take care and stay safe. Thank you, Dr. Nirmal. The Future Art Prize 2020 and Future Art Green Leadership Award 2020 are proudly sponsored by Shuko. We would like to invite Mr. Cahyo Christian Toro, architect and investor consultant of Shuko, to give a speech. Selamat siang, Bapak Ibu. Perkenalkan nama saya Cahyo. Hari ini saya senang sekali bisa mewakili Shuko Southeast Asia sebagai Eclusive Platinum Sponsor for the Future Art Prize and Future Art Green Leadership Award serta partner acara untuk Top 10 Architect and Top 10 Developers. Salah satu komitmen kami dalam industri arsitektur dalam merealisikan Green Building and Sustainability yang merupakan DNA dari salah satu perusahaan kami. 
Shuko adalah perusahaan Jerman dan kami adalah the world's leading provider for high performance window door and facade system. Kami menawarkan konsultasi dan solusi digital untuk semua fase proyek bangunan. Juga menawarkan ide awal hingga sampai desain, fabrikasi, dan instalasi kepada arsitek, fasad konsultan, dan developer. Saya mengucapkan terima kasih kepada para peserta, juri, dan BCI atas acara ini. Dibutuhkan dedikasi dan dukungan dari semua pihak agar acara ini dapat terwujud. Selamat kepada para pemenang penghargaan dan terima kasih saya ucapkan kepada Shuko Partner yang telah bergabung dalam acara ini. PT Polarika Fasatindo, PT Bahama Sumber Utama, PT Alam Sejahtera Anda. Terima kasih. Thank you, Mr. Cahyo. And now, let's watch the video from Shuko. Progress. One word bearing many stories. Our story begins with understanding what you need today in order to focus on solutions for tomorrow. Progress means transforming your workflow into the digital world, making innovative architecture interactive, and modern fabrication more efficient. Our modular facade solutions minimize risks and provide maximum flexibility on site. Thinking of events that cannot always be foreseen. Progress is not only thinking about what people can see, but also what they can hear or not hear. Progress is new intelligence for commercial buildings as well as the most private spaces. In the end, it's not about what we make or the goals we strive for. It's about seeing this world, our world, through the eyes of others enabling you to shape our lives and work for decades to come. Experience progress. Thank you, Shuko. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present the Future Art Prize 2020 Merit Recipient from Indonesia. They will receive merit certificate and one year subscription to Future Art Magazine. Student category Bahrum Syah Bila Sahil, Pramudia Andara, Febri Aji Prasetyo, Iqbal Ziau Haq, Rahman Akbar Sayekti. May we invite the representative up on stage to receive the certificate. Student kategori Raka Dian Saputra, Madina Arifa, Amanda Pragita Setianingrup, Rizky Putra Adi Pradana, Monica Teresa Kenratri Drupadi. And now we will present the winners of Future Art Prize 2020. Professional kategori third place. Karunia Widya Kusuma Profesional kategori second place, Inas Raras Mahening Tias. 
Professional second place winner will receive cash prize of 8,000 Singapore dollars and a one year subscription to Future Art Magazine. Next, we will be presenting the Interior Design Awards 2020. The Interior Design Awards 2020 is proudly sponsored by Trox. Let's watch the video from Trox. This is a Trox air purifier. This is a really fantastic unit. It can reduce the risk of infections in rooms without enough ventilation significantly. It works safe, silent and it is very efficient. It works very safe because it takes out 99.95% of the aerosols. That means that the air which comes out can be seen as free of viruses. And it works also safe because of its flow behavior. We take the air from the room below in the floor area. It is brought up vertically and it's brought back to the room horizontally. And it's brought back in a height of more than 2.3 meters to ensure comfort conditions for people in the room. To tell you why it's very silent and energy efficient, I will open the air purifier. And that is related to the components. We have installed two filter stages with a total area of 47 square meters. The first filter stage is a pre-filter that takes out a huge amount of the fine dust. The second filter stage is a HEPA filter and it takes out 99.95% of the aerosols and also of the viruses. Then here we have the fan and up and downstream of the fan there are silences and these silences are patented, they make the unit silent and at the same time they don't have any energy demand. To conclude everything, this air purifier is silent, energy efficient and it works very, very safe. Inform yourself on our website, contact us in case of questions. We are looking forward to hearing from you. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present the Interior Design Awards 2020. I would like to invite Mr. Anton Adianto F&B Kategori Merit Recipients Kisaku By Seniman Ruang Miss Helen Agustin Miss Linda Agustina FNB Kategori Winner Sudah Stada By GL Studio Miss Jessica Novita And Mr. Alex Bayu Saputro Office Kategori Winner
Winner Bas Allianz Headquarter By Sontani Partners Mr. Vincent Sontani Miss Kriso Ratnawati Mr. Andreas Martinus PT Alfa Citra Karya Tama Miss Resa Tanuharja PT Alson Mr. Alexius Prangkalinus Office kategori winner Toto Indonesia Headquarter by Field 4 Design Office Mr. Toshiyuki Okubo and Mr. Yuta Simada PT Simizu Bangun Cipta Kontraktor Mr. Wataru Kurihara and Mr. Kohei Akiyama May we invite the representative up on stage to receive the trophy Tepuk tangan yang meriah untuk para pemenang. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Ya, jadi uh, acara ini bagus ya. Ini harus benar-benar bisa dikembangkan. Usia bisa membuat teman-teman arsitek ini bisa you pada hadir. Kami dari perusahaan A Plus juga kami juga melihat sampai waktu itu sempat bertanya. Tapi event yang sebelumnya kami sering ikutin. Terutama kalau bisa arsiteknya pun di penebar areanya. Jangan cuma Jabodetabek atau DKI. Oke okay, baik, terima kasih banyak pasti atas waktunya. Enjoy di event ya Pak ya, thank you. You know how I feel Rivers running free You know how I feel Blossom on the tree You know how I feel It's a new dawn, it's a new day It's a new life for me Awards ini akan terus berlangsung dengan kualitas yang jauh lebih baik, yang jauh lebih meriah ya mudah-mudahan pandemi sudah selesai, tahun depan kita mungkin bisa bertemu lebih besar lagi sehingga lebih bisa meriah dan tentunya banyak partisipan yang ikut dan tentunya juga, juga mudah-mudahan sponsor juga banyak ya oke okay, yang mendukung, terima kasih ya, yeah. sama Pertama-tama terima kasih uh, saya ucapkan kepada BCI Asia atas uh, kesempatannya untuk uh, mengundang kami sebagai sponsor pada tahun 2021 ini. Um, kalau saya lihat penyelenggaraan saat ini sangat uh, profesional ya. Kita semua uh, melakukan uh, pro prokes memang harusnya begitu, tapi juga bisa berlangsung dengan lancar. Jadi saya kira ini merupakan standar yang cukup bagus. Dan kita sangat uh, gembira kita bisa berpartisipasi Semoga kedepannya juga acaranya bisa seperti ini atau lebih lagi May we invite our award partner Jotun, Mr. Ram Ramnat, Managing Director PT Jotun Indonesia, to give a short speech. 
Pertama-tama, saya ingin berterima kasih ke organizer event ini, BCI Asia. Very well organized event, uh, walaupun uh, situasi pandemi ini ya, ya yeah, very well organized. Uh, nama saya Ram Ramnath, saya sedang bekerja sebagai uh, Presiden Direktur PT Jotun Indonesia. Now, I'm sure uh, almost all of you would have heard of Jotun or have used Jotun in your uh, projects. You know, recently uh, a colleague of mine, he did a research. He, he looked at the top 25 construction projects in the world and he found out that more than half of them have specified and used Jotun's products. So, <laughs> which is quite a remarkable uh, track record. You know, just to refresh your memory, projects like the Marina Bay Sands in Singapore, the Gelora Bunkarno just opposite the road here in Jakarta, you know, the Twin Towers Petronas in uh, Kuala Lumpur, and of course the Burj Khalifa. I used to work in Dubai before this and was involved with that project. The tallest uh, tower in the world, Burj Khalifa, is also using, specifying and using Jotun. So I just want to take a, a minute or two to explain to you what I believe are the four uh, factors, you know, which have given us this uh, track record and this position, and to encourage you, of course, to, to specify and use uh, Jotun. You know, number one, it starts with our mission. Our mission says that Jotun protects property. So, of course, we cannot protect property properly if we do not focus on the quality of our product. There can be no compromise on the quality of our product, and probably a lot of you know this already. But it's not just the product, it's also the quality of the technical service that lies behind the product, you know. You know, a building, when we talk of building, we think about walls. But a building requires so many different types of paints, yeah? Steel protection requires protective coatings. Uh, aluminium curtain walling uh, and facades, my colleague from, uh, my friend from Shuko was here some time ago, world leader in facade technology. So uh, probably some of you do not know that Jotun is also market leader in Indonesia in protective coatings and in powder coatings. So we call this the single source solution. That's all I wanted to say today. Terima kasih banyak. Please remember the four points from Jotun. It's quality, it's beauty and color, single source solutions, and green building solutions. So we are there with all these different solutions. Terima kasih banyak. Wish you all the best for the success of this event. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Ramnath. And here is a video from Jodhut. Behind every iconic building and beautiful home are the people that have made Jotun the brand it is today. The ones who find inspiration in unexpected places and spread it. Those working to share the magic of colors and finishes and their ability to transform spaces. Those that relentlessly pursue better products. Think, retry, innovate. Not afraid to say, let's do this better. Those that show up every day, driven, excited, happy to learn more, happy to do more, having fun, enjoying what they do. Working with one goal in mind, making sure that our surroundings are as beautiful as the ones in our imaginations. Thank you for sharing our passion for iconic buildings and beautiful homes. The BCI Asia Top 10 Developers Award 2020 goes to Adi Komuter Property, Mr. Rizkan Firman, President Director. Intiland Development TBK, Mr. Permadi Indra Yoga, Business Development Director. Jaya Real Property TBK. Due to circumstances, Jaya Real Property is unable to join with us today. PP Property TBK Mr. Fajar Saiful Bahri, Business Development and HCM Director Sin 
Bernard Maslen, Mr. Alim Gunadi, Managing Director. Sumarekon Agung TBK, Mr. Adrian Tope Adi, Presiden Director. Swan City, Mr. Tan Yin Yan, Presidential Head of Design and Planning. Tokyo Land Indonesia, Mr. Hideta Tsuikeda, Presiden Director. Waskita Karya Realty, Mr. Dimas Riki Wahyu Adityo, Finance and Human Capital Director. Wijaya Karya Realty TBK, Mr. Muhammad Taufikul Huda, Human Capital General Manager. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together and big applause for the BCI Asia Top 10 Developer Award this 2020. We will be presenting the BCI Asia Top 10 Architect Awards 2020. The BCI Asia Top 10 Architect Award 2020 goes to Abodai Design. Airmas Asri. Due to circumstances, Airmas Asri is unable to join with us today. Alien Bangun Nusantara Mr. Hardy Antoni Wiratama, Director Anggara Arkitim Mr. Adri Rahadian Hanafi, Director Arkonim Mr. Ahmad Nurzaman Presiden Director Duta Cermat Mandiri Mr. Samuel Bunyamin Senior Arsitek Megatika Graha Lestari Internasional Mr. Henry Pang, Project Director Pandega Design Weharima Mr. Erbayu Rahmadana, Senior Project Manager Sekawan Design in Arsitek Due to circumstances, Sekawan Design in Architect is unable to join with us today. Wiratman, Mr. Kapten Kajaya Sudarma, Director of Wiratman Architecture. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for the BCI Asia Top 10 Architect Award this 2020. Before we continue to present the BCI Asia Top 10 Developers and Architects 2021, we would like to play a video from our sponsor, Suko, TOA Paint, and Tech Now. Progress. One word bearing many stories. Our story begins with understanding what you need today in order to focus on solutions for tomorrow. Progress means transforming your workflow into the digital world, making innovative architecture interactive, and modern fabrication more efficient. Our modular facade solutions minimize risks and provide maximum flexibility on site thinking of events that cannot always be foreseen. Progress is not only thinking about what people can see, 
but also what they can hear or not hear. Progress is new intelligence for commercial buildings, as well as the most private spaces. In the end, it's not about what we make or the goals we strive for. It's about seeing this world, our world, through the eyes of others. Enabling you to shape our lives and work for decades to come. Experience progress. Over the past 56 years, our consistent growth propels TOA to be the number one paint in Thailand. Supported by a range of color innovation and unsurpassed services. And TOA Color World, creating over 10,000 shades of color that resonates with every color demand. With the most extensive reach to consumers in Thailand, thanks to our large distribution channels of over 6,000 retailers. TOA operates by using state-of-the-art, safe, and green manufacturing processes and relentless product innovation, research, and development from our strong team of experts, guaranteed by honorable awards from eminent institutes every single year. Moving forward, TOA is committed to growing beyond colors by offering total solution across different types of products. serve horizontal and vertical growth of the construction industry in Thailand and abroad. The first pillar of growth is to fortify our leading position of decorative paints and coatings in Thailand with a 48.7% share in the market. What's more, the ASEAN economy is part of our expansion plans. TOA has completed the expansion of our production facilities to Indonesia, Myanmar, and Cambodia as part of the action plan. As a result, the overall production capacity rose from 88 to 102 million gallons per year, maximizing our competitiveness. To increase our market shares strongly in these countries, TOA is determined to be more than a paint business. We are ready to grow by introducing Total Innovation Solution. TOA, growing beyond colors.
thank you for all our sponsors. Next, the BCI Top 10 Developers Award 2021 goes to Agung Podomoro Land. Due to circumstances, Agung Podomoro Land is unable to join with us today. Alam Sutra Realty TBK. Mr. RM Frankie Adrianto Dwi Putro, Director. Putra Development TBK, Mr. Fajar Halim, Associate Director. Intiland Development TBK. Property TBK. Due to circumstances, Jaya Real Property is unable to join with us today. PP Property TBK. Sinar Maslen, Mr. Alim Gunadi, Managing Director. Sumarekon Agung TBK. Mr. Adrian Tope Adi, Presiden Director. Swan City, Mr. Tan I Hian, Presiden, Chiao Head of Design and Planning. Wijaya Karya Realty, Mr. Mong Taiful Huda, Human Capital General Manager. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for the BCI Asia Top 10 Developers 2021! The BCI Asia Top 10 Architect Award 2021 goes to... Airmas Asri! Due to circumstances, Air Mas Asri is unable to join with us today. Alien Bangu Nusantara, Mr. Hardian Tony Wiratama, Director. Anggara Arkitim, Mr. Adri Halahadia Hanafi, Director. Mr. Ahmad Nurzaman, Presiden Director. Duta Cermat Mandiri, Mr. Samuel Bunyamin, Senior Arsitek. Megatika Graha Lestari Internasional. Mr. Henry Pang, Project Director. Pandega Design W. Harima. Mr. Erbayu Rahmat Dana, Senior Project Manager. Penta Architecture, Mr. Forest Jiprang, CEO. Rahna Matra Indonesia, Mr. Reko Tomo Prasetyo, Director. Wiratman, Mr. Tatengka Jaya Sudarma, Director of Wiratman Architecture. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for the BCI Asia Top 10 Architects 2021. Mr. Peter, please remain on stage for a closing address. Once again, congratulations to all the winners. Before we close the event, I would like to call up on the stage 
the sponsors that made this event possible. The first one is the Future Art Green Leadership Awards 2020 and Future Art Prize 2020 Platinum Sponsors, Suko. The second one is Interior Design Awards 2020 Gold Sponsor, Trox. The third one is Award Partner, Jotun. Number four, our event partners are Suko, POA Paint, and Techno. Please come on the stage. Exhibitors, A Plus, Bardi, Epson, Horman, Wood One Integra, our welcome reception sponsors, Trillion Wear, and lastly, video lunch sponsor from PT Bina Adidaya. Thank you so much for your support and work closely with us. Thank you. I would also like to thank our guest of honor. Mr. Iwan Prianto, Chairman of the Green Building Council Indonesia. I hope Bapak is already here this afternoon and in healthy condition. Pa would like to appreciate you. And also I'd like to appreciate Pa Iparman Usman as the General Secretary of Green Building Council Indonesia. And also our special guest this afternoon, Mr. Rohadi. Chairman of Indonesia Interior Designer Association, HDEE Nasional. Thank you and see you all again in the next BCI Asia Award Ceremony. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you, Mr. Peter. Thank you for this wonderful afternoon. Stay safe and stay healthy. See you next year.